there a greater appetite for with women to have women protagonists in shows, or how do you how do you yeah. analyze all that? How does it influence your buying? How does it influence your taste? It, it, and it, what happens, I think, when you look at when you can take a, a look at data, just raw data, throw everything else out, then you get rid of all those conventional wisdom things we talked about, and that. Uh, and it, which a lot of conventional wisdom goes into casting and goes into storytelling and who gets to tell stories. And what we see over and over again, you see a character like, like Claire Underwood, um, that, that women can carry a show enorm with, with enormous regularity. Uh, mm -hmm. People want to see, people want television to look like them. They want television to look like the world. They, I think the business is better when television re re is built on reality. Mm -hmm. which is I, I relate to those people. They look like me. They sound like me. I know exactly who that person is. I've, that, that was my college roommate. I know who that <laughs> person. Um, and, and so, that, so if, we, if, we, if you take all those constraints off of saying, mm -hmm. you know, we have to do it this way because their stakes are so high, mm -hmm. then you could try things and get out of the comfort zone a little bit. And, mm -hmm. you know, between Jessica Jones and Orange is the New Black, and I mean, we have, I mean, people, that, Netflix is like the home of kick-ass women. Those characters yeah. are... Um, or defy any kind of normal television uh, casting, or certainly any writing for television. 